Texas, we all love our ribs, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Instead of barbecued ribs, I'm going to do Chinese spare ribs. So a lot of times you see spare ribs in the store, and they're like this. And you also have St. Louis style. Well, the difference between regular spare ribs and St. Louis style is that this still has the, br the brisket attached. So with St. Louis style, all they do is they just remove the brisket, so you have shorter ribs like these. I'm using the St. Louis style for the Chinese spare ribs, because usually when you see them in the Chinese food restaurants, they're little and short like this. And another thing is they're also usually bright red, and that's because they'll put red food coloring in the sauce. So I'm leaving that out today, but if you want to be more authentic, you can add that in. The sauce I'm doing, it has some orange juice, poison sauce, rice vinegar, soy sauce, brown sugar, and a little bit of garlic. So I'm just going to add in my brown sugar. I've already got all of my other ingredients in here. And then just pour that over your ribs. And we're just going to let that marinate for a while before we get it into the oven. And this is really one of my standby Asian sauces. I'll use this for dipping egg rolls. Also, if I'm doing like a beef satay, it makes a really nice dipping sauce. So just kind of get that coated on both sides. And when you get ready to put this in the oven, you want to go ahead and cover it with some foil because for your first hour or so, you want it to just kind of steam and keep all of the moisture in. And then you'll take your foil off towards the end and start basting it with the sauce and they'll get really nice and caramelized. So we're just going to get this in the oven. So I've got some here that are already done. These have gotten nice and caramelized. And in the, like, the last 15 minutes of baking, I just basted these over the top with whatever sauce was left in there. And you can see that some of the meat's already tearing off the bone. So we're just going to slice these up. So here you go, Chinese spare ribs. It's a little bit of a twist on what we usually would have with barbecued ribs, but they're really good. You can find this recipe in Wednesday's Tyler Paper Food section and also on CBS19.tv.